dear audience please accept my greetings from bangladesh first of all i would like to express my gratitude to wct for inviting me to a webinar about poetry around the world i am sadia afrus sultana working as a faculty member at open school in bangladesh open university i am exceedingly glad to be here to talk on this auspicious art day art day organization has proclaimed its theme for art day 2021 as restore our art and that focuses on natural processes emerging green technologies and innovative thinking that can restore the world's ecosystems it is indeed the cry of the day i would like to go further with the term ecosystem to me ecosystem is not only applicable for the biological world but also for the world of open education for the life of living being and for various other situation i thus find the relevance of art day with open education bangladesh is a south asian country it has a high population density with a large size of 160 million it used to be mostly an agrarian economy in recent years a big slice of its population has shifted towards industrialization as the country's economy thrived now that when bangladesh serves its goal for a middle income country status in order to support its economic emancipation the country needs to create educated and techno based workforce for competing globally unfortunately bangladesh is on a bumpy track in this regard socio economic stumbling blocks compel most of the student to enter job market at an early stage not with standing their willingness for further education with the large youth class strain of the orbit of education bangladesh achievement of goal may quite be rendered impossible so question arises how to preserve the educational ecosystem educated them to the desired level while keeping the socio economic activities in order bangladesh open university is entrusted with this sacred responsibility it is the only authorized institution for open and distance learning in bangladesh it has a wide network of 12 regional centers 80 sub regional centers and 1550 study centers in its efforts towards reaching out to the doors of the learners at the same time the total number of learners stands at around 1 million according to 2020 statistics which is multiple times larger than that of any other universities in this country this immenseness is because of open schooling and distance learning again bangladesh open university has a mission that is in consonance with the philosophy of oer as such oer helps in creating a pool of skilled citizens offering access to education to the public and developing the general standard of education through adoption of multidimensional educational initiatives thus the philosophy of oer along with the flexibility it offers help steers bangladesh open university towards its mission accomplishment now the history of bangladesh open university with oer bangladesh open university could fill the potential of oer in educational arena long before back in 2014 therefore as a first step towards practicing oer holistically bangladesh open university thought of developing the oer policy hence accordingly we arranged a workshop to develop oer policy in collaboration with communal of learning and advocated for its practice therefore bangladesh open university started developing self learning material under creative commons license these are then shared digitally by uploading in oer repository it is true that after adopting oer policy bangladesh open university could solve many educational and managerial complexities and the result is smooth propagation of learners with education i have discussed before some positive impacts of open education on the education system of bangladesh open university now i am going to highlight some success story of using oer there has been a serious flaw in the bangladesh open university product delivery service according to the state of learners in 2014 for the program of secondary and high secondary level only about 18% learner received all books at the time of admission 
as a result some learners used to reading guide books buying from the market and most of them started their program without me and that is actually depressing for them and also for us by introducing the oer policy the university have been able to overcome this long continued fall now books are uploaded online licensed under creative commons therefore it is possible for learners to find books even prior to admission this is how creative commons licenses have given solution to a long term problem of this university another useful oer of the university are self learning materials which are by default oer Bangladesh Open University develop books as self-learning materials and in modular form. Learners can study their courses by themselves at their convenient time. As these self-learning materials are OER, it is found that not only the learners of university make use of these materials, but also they have great use countrywide, impacting significantly on the education system of Bangladesh. It is interesting to note that. in absence of face to face class and sufficient digital oer materials learners other than bangladesh open university have studied this oer materials and have been immensely benefited during the ongoing covid-19 pandemic situation again implementation of oer policy has made the faculty members all well aware of the licensing issue as well as oer at the senior level they have started practicing open pedagogy that helps to enrich the quality of education and consequently help the learners attain their objectives easily having reflected upon the oer success story i would like to start here by going robin de rosa the director of the open learning and teaching co- collaborative at blemit state university in hampshire She is an internationally recognized leader in open pedagogy and an advocate for public higher education in the United States. In talking about the future of public mission of university, she said, "My plea today is that we build an international commitment to the value and language of public. That we create open ecosystems in government, data, science, research, education." and software that are contextual tied to community need and reflective of the diversity of the real people who depend on our universities to do good work and improve the condition of the world thank you all very much for the patience hearing